Yeah, I'm back. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be here for a while. Don't worry. All he ever wanted was an honest week's pay for an honest day's work. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our top 10 favorite Steve Martin performances. I'm told that one day I'll look back on all of this with great affection and nostalgia. I hope so. Number 10, George Banks, Father of the Bride. Kicking off our list is Martin's sweet-natured 1991 remake of the 50s classic about a father coming to terms with his daughter finally growing up and the stress involved in planning her wedding. Playing the proud dad, Martin agonizingly takes us through his struggle to let go with his very real and heartfelt delivery. Number 9, Vinnie Antonelli, My Blue Heaven. In this eccentric comedic performance, Martin plays a former mob boss taken into witness protection. During his misadventures, he becomes close friends with an uptight agent assigned to protect him while bursting into outrageous tangents. In this criminally underrated performance, Martin brings us countless laughs as a smooth-talking gangster with a heart of gold aiming to survive his exile to the burbs. And it came in handy on several occasions jump-starting ambulances in order to get invalids to the dialysis machines. Number 8, Oren Scrivello, DDS, The Little Shop of Horrors. You'll be a dentist. You have a talent for causing things. In this thrilling departure for the actor, Martin plays a musically inclined motorcycle riding dentist out to personify everyone's childhood fears. Channeling Elvis, Martin plays a leather clad dentist who exuberantly abuses his patients while singing and huffing nitrous oxide. No other actor could claim to have sung the best dentist song of all time, or at least done it with such gleeful joy. I'm your dentist, and I get off on the pain I inflict. Number 7, Roger Cobb, All of Me. Exploiting this film's unusual premise, Martin puts his talents as a physical comedian to the screen as an uptight lawyer that gets inadvertently possessed by a dying millionaire. I feel like the healthiest woman alive. Oh! Who said that? This allows him to not only play two characters, but both sexes through his mastery of body language. He expertly demonstrates this range by mimicking specific gestures and emotional cues, a challenge that few actors would so willingly take on. Stomach, stomach! All right. First, let go of your grip. Now slowly take your hand. Now slowly! Number 6, Lucky Day, Three Amigos. In this iconic western spoof, Martin plays a member of a hapless silent era movie troupe opposite Martin Short and Chevy Chase. Martin spurs the laughs by contradicting the serious set pieces with his unique brand of childlike sparkle and naivety, as well as by performing his own rope work and singing some of cinema's most eccentric musical interludes. Dear little buttercup, won't you stay a while? Number 5, Gil Buckman, Parenthood. Another iconic parental role, Martin gives a mesmerizing performance as a neurotic sales executive trying to balance his family and career. Attempting life as a super dad, Martin manages to blend comedy with drama by spouting memorable lines and stumbling through real life difficulties. This performance will always stick out as he manages to take on the very worst parental nightmares and make them shine as comedic fodder. Nice shot, son! It's important to be supportive! Number 4, C.D. Bales, Roxanne. Adapted from a famous stage play, Martin plays a fire chief with a Pinocchio-like nose. Ashamed of his unusual appearance, he tries to find other ways to win over the girl of his dreams, who is infatuated with his dim-witted co-worker. A gentle, charming, and whimsical role, this screen persona remains of one of Steve Martin's most endearing. Hey! <laughs> Has he fallen yet? Number 3, Freddie Benson from Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Shifting away from the hopeless romantic, Martin takes on the role of a small-time and unsophisticated con man. Encroaching on the territory of a suave master con artist played by Michael Caine, he pressures the mogul to take him under his wing. Forced to play the part of a mentally challenged brother, he eventually challenges his teacher to a winner-takes-all bet. This allows Martin to fully transform his signature bumbling half-wit to skilled and lovable master fraudster. Excuse me, may I go to the bathroom first? Of course you may. Thank you. Number 2, Neil Page, Planes, Trains and Automobiles. 
In this seasonal road trip comedy, Martin plays an advertising executive on his way home for Thanksgiving. However, his plans are sabotaged by a well-meaning, overly talkative, and accident-prone curtain ring salesman, played by John Candy. During their odyssey, Martin shows his range, maturing from high-strung man with a temper to a soul that realizes what Thanksgiving is really all about. Bell. Oh. 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 Why did you kiss my ear? Why are you holding my hand? Where's your other hand? Between two pillows. Those aren't pillows. Ah! 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 <laughs> Number one, Navin R. Johnson, The Jerk. Taking the top spot on our list is Steve Martin's first ever starring role and the performance that made him a star. Based on his stand-up comedy routine in which he claimed to have been born a poor black child, he plays a half-witted man who comes to realize that he was adopted. And remember, the Lord loves a working man. Lord loves a working man. And son, don't never ever trust Whitey. Don't trust Whitey. Lord loves a working man, don't trust Whitey. To discover himself, he embarks on a series of misadventures while establishing his many trademarks, including his good-natured slapstick. Ah, uh, yes, but no more 1966. Let's splurge. Bring us some fresh wine, the freshest you've got this year. No more of this old stuff. Do you agree with our list? I think practically everybody in the solar system would. Which Steve Martin performance is your favorite? For more great top tens, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.